Hello, it's Sarah, and I have finished my kit. I think it was very good. The uh, instructions were very good, and I love how it turned out. I really do. I made some mistakes. Um, it's not perfect because I just have not um, I don't know enough about when to do what yet that I kind of messed up sometimes. Um, I forgot to leave a place for me to sign my name, so I signed it on the back. Um, but I love cutting. I used my tool, my new tool, to cut the hole to put the paper behind it. And I didn't use the paper she gave. I just pulled some different papers from my stash. I used this paper, and I forget where it's from. It's from... I, I'm trying to use up some stacks that I have, but I am going to use this again, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. We'll see. I did my own piece, though. Um, I created a design based on the little, um, this guy, based on my little, uh, what is he? A chicken or a rooster. I guess he's a rooster. Um, so... I'm going to finish up the other one because I wanted to show you I did do, I filled in the raised areas with, I don't know if this is beeswax, I think it's a beeswax candle, I'm pretty sure, and I used this, and I like how it worked, it's tricky, and I think Alicia uses a glass dropper, eye dropper type thing, and she sucks up the wax and, um, maybe puts it in a one of the melting pot type things and fills it that way um, but it worked I mean I I'm pretty happy I, I I think it turned out pretty cool like I said I I messed up here because I didn't leave a place for my name and the other thing I realized was um, when you put the paper underneath I'm gonna cut it this time on the next one I do to be the same size. I think this is three by three or three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I forget. Let me see. I made a template. Three and a quarter approximately. Um, cut the paper about that size and then because I can see overlap, like I think the paper came out to here and when I kind of push the metal down, you see the paper underneath. So little things like that. I can definitely see bumps here. Um, what else? Uh, I think that was basically it. I made another one th that I totally screwed up. This one is a mess. Um, it's the first design I did. The one I did now, <coughs> I think what it is is you have to kind of make room for things and there's an order in which you in, in, um, emboss. So what I didn't realize was like I needed to do my chicken's feathers first. I did the fence first. And so my chicken's feathers, I, I just couldn't do it. And then, I mean, this little section didn't work out. I didn't ha have any areas that I could cut out. Um, I liked my Zentangle around the outside. But like this area here, I left it plain because I wanted to leave one plain to match this area where I signed my name. But I just didn't like how it was a circle and a circle. And I didn't like how my son came out. I just, I learned a lot. Like I, I just learned a lot. I learned what I wanted to pop up and not pop up, but I wanted to finish it. And all I used was, this is chipboard. So let me zoom back out again. I just took a piece of chipboard and you can make these any size you want. I think I went with about the same size as, it's a little smaller than what Alicia sent. <clears throat> it's about five by five. I think it's five and a quarter by five and a quarter. But I used chipboard. So this is a piece of chipboard. <coughs> I get mine at, um, I think I got this at Joann's online. This is black. And I think it's a medium weight chipboard. So it's not totally thick. But I actually cut two pieces of it and glued them together back to back. So it makes a nice little stiff <clears throat> backing to put the pewter onto. And then this is the template that I, I just made a template out of chipboard. <clears throat> because when I make my little design, I just 
draw a lot I just draw around it and then I can just have a bunch of places to play with so this was the first design and then this was the second one and you can see how this one I changed it and made things like I made less things like I didn't put as much stuff and I made them bigger like the chickens bigger and this is supposed to be back in the distance you know the the barn is back in the distance and I kind of copied she did the barn on her on hers so there was a barn here but I mean the chicken goes with the barn so that's why I use the barn again I wanted to change my son a little bit so I changed that and kind of had the idea to do this and I wanted cloud so I came up with this so what I want to do right now is I've already um, uh, distressed it with, I just use paint. I use um, my acrylic paint, just black paint, and then you wipe it off with a paper towel. But the next thing I need to do is put some sticky back. Uh, I use this. I got the two and a half inch double stick tape. So I'm going to put that on the back. But here, look, I wanted to show you my the wax. So here's the wax. I'm just going to bring my, I don't want it to get all scratched up on the front. Um, and I filled this part, the, the clouds, and his wing, and his little, I forget what that's called. So nothing's really super high rate relief, but I still filled, filled them. And I just, like I said, I just used the this candle and basically just had it lit and just held it over the areas and it fills in the area and then I just take my um, razor blade and ever so gently just if there's any extra because you don't want there to be bumps all around it you know and I guess I could have filled in all these dots and stuff but I didn't um, Anyway, so I'm just happy enough that I've, I'm figuring that out because it's much faster. It's good. So let me get this um, covered with this sticky back. Oh, first, because I have to cut out. Yeah, the first step is to put this on, and then I'm going to cut some holes. And then I'm going to put the paper on. So I think I'll finish it, and I'll come back and show you it finished. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, it's done. I put some more music paper under there because I actually messed up. I was going to put, I was trying to put this piece under there because it said the sun right on here and I lined it up but then I, I measured it wrong. It's three and a quarter by three and a half so I, I couldn't use it. So I put the paper and then she can, she said you could put like glossy accents in there which I think I might do. It'll make it shinier. So these are the two pieces on side by side. I'm not thrilled with this, just this part of the um, sun. That's the only thing that like, other than that, I'm pretty, I'm really happy actually. It definitely turned out better than this one. Um, just because this, the chicken just is a mess. Maya didn't notice it. I mean, you know, but... I notice it. I know. Um, I wrote my name big too. I like that. I like how I wrote my name bigger. And just the chicken's just better. It just fits better. So this is the two. And again, this is just backed. I put chipboard. And then you just fold it over using the sticky back. Um, I, I keep saying I'm wanting to say sticky back canvas, but it's um, the double stick tape. But uh, I just did a little bit of red. I'm debating if I need to put it on the flowers out here. But it looks cool, right? This is the one she did, designed. And that's the one I designed. I borrowed the barn, though. I, I was just going to put a little house, I guess. But I thought, well, a barn's perfect. It's a chicken. And I don't love this, but I, I like the beeswax. The beeswax is holding up really well. So yeah, so those are all done. I could have cut out more, I think. Like, I kind of like the way this is on this side and then these two pieces are over here, like design-wise. But I think I'll get better at that. I'll start to figure out what I want to do. Her, um, 
kits. Um, I'll put a link in the description box, but they uh, have very similar backgrounds, like the way the, um, the ground is, and the sun too. So I think that's part of, like, because she wants to cut out. You have to have um, a raised area to cut around it. So there has to be, and you can't, like, just leave it hanging. Like, there can't just be... Um, you can't cut around a flower, say. It'll just, the flower will fall out. You know what I mean? Anyway. So I'm pretty happy. My light's terrible. I want I want Joe to fix my lighting so that I can, um, that there's no glare and everything. But I like them. Alright, you guys. That's it. And I might come back with some clay. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.